I'm going to try and do this segment a little quicker. Uh, this is the um, National Park restoration work that's going on. That is Satwewa Native American Cultural Center at the Trails Inn. This is the Satwewa Trail that I use from the Portrero Trailhead. Um, I mean, I come from over there to go to Satwewa, the Cultural Center. Uh, these are nature's planting of Ariaganum uh, fasciculatum, I believe. Sit, stay. Um, and they are mature plants. And the point I'm trying to show here is they have to be hacked back to be kept off of the trail, which isn't very wide. So that's nature's planting that, you know, wants to take up space on the trail. Stay. Um, and then, so we're walking down here. So this is nature's planting uh, to the best of my knowledge. Now we're coming into the habitat restoration um, the work, the intentional planting. And um, I think that's nature's planting. Again, here's the narrow little trail. So um, here's the, so, and then, as I said in the longer segment, trying to be brief, that they have planted gallons seemingly, these look two foot, two foot on center from what I just, um, over here, Ariaganum fasciculatum, which is what I think it is. So here is one, two, three, four, five, one gallons, um, inches from the trail. And we've just seen that how nature plants them, they have to work to keep the trail clear. So these people put plants um, five, five, one gallons in a 20 foot space, six inches from the trail, where one of those one gallons at maturity, that may be two or three plants, but I, the point being is that that plant by nature, if that is by nature, is two feet from the trail and has to be packed. You have to do trail maintenance to keep what nature planted off of the trail and yet when they did, man, man planted, he planted six inches from the trail, a plant that is going to crowd the trail. And from what I've seen of this work, there's absolutely no thought other than taking a one gallon plant and putting it two foot on center. There's no grouping of plants. There's no appropriate, there's no imitating nature. Um, and there's no thought to the human use of the area. Ochoyo is put very, very uh, pointy plants. Ochoyo, yucca, interspersed with non-thorny plants are put very close to where people need to be. And it will mean that people who do maintain the trails are gonna have to deal with thorns, which, you know, I mean, isn't very nice. And um, I, I could go back and I, I did the longer segment and I'm trying to keep it brief. But um, this is what you don't want to do. I mean, this is habitat. I wouldn't, you, you wouldn't even do this in a, in, a, in a professional landscape. You wouldn't plant like this. Um, I mean, there's no thought to the fact that human beings are interfacing this and that the primary use of this particular space, whatever you do out there where people have to, really work to get to that that's one thing this would not be wise there either but but this is this is just very very poor planning it's no planning and it's problematic